Thank you. Now, Honorable Minister, you want to say, you want to say something? Yes. Sir. sir, first of all, I thank each and every member who, in spite of all the disturbances, have contributed to this debate. Some of them have raised very particular questions which I would want to honestly reply. However, it's a bit... I'm very grateful to member Bhupender Yadav, minister, who has raised the thought that parliamentary courtesies are very important. You may have dis uh, disagreement, you may uh, protest, but however, as much as a member Amar Patnaikji has raised to disrupt the member who is speaking and to surround him in a threatening fashion, all that is absolutely unnecessary. And also, and also, I would even now, even now, I would welcome some of the opposition members to participate in the debate rather than protest. But it is also, sir, absolutely strange that people who have been individually contributing to the disturbance, when their turn comes, they want to stand up and have order in the house so that they can speak. How selfish can this be? How selfish can this be? And above all, as it is, when members are disrupted, whether it is question hour or whether it is zero hour, sometimes throwing papers at the chairman, now when the discussion is happening, they are violently coming to the members and the ministers and not allowing discussion is absolutely condemned. And I would want all our members to support me in condemning this violence, in condemning this disruption. Now, sir, I would want to mention my thanks to Amar Patnaik ji, Banda Prakash ji, Kambi Durai ji, Ravindra Kumar ji, and Vijay uh, Sai Reddy ji for contributing to the debate and also for sub, uh, su supporting this bill. However, when a member came to speak about it, he, instead of talking on the bill, I don't want to name him, but he, instead of talking about the bill, spoke everything else and did not for a minute condemn the violent protest in the will of the House. So, I thank the members. I want to assure some of them about concerns voiced as regards vacancies in the NCLT, vacancies in very many benches, which is a right point taken. I will ensure we are also working to fill the benches up. So, I do not want worries about vacancies remaining and uh, that causing any further delay. I just want to um, inform the honourable members the number benches number of benches increased from 10 to 15 during 18 and 19. Number of members has been increased in a phased manner. 28 new members were appointed in 2019, bringing the total number of members to 52. After demetting the uh, office of some of the members, presently 29 members are in position. So we shall be making sure the appointment of the President of NCLT is also to be done in consultation with the Chief Justice of India and therefore we are giving importance to that. Also, till all the regular posts are filled up, approval has been granted for engaging a total of 725 posts at various levels and law research associates with a norm of 3 LRA per court of 2 members total of 93 LRAs for 62 members on contractual basis. So even that is going on, sir. One thing I want to uh, inform member Amit Patayak that the process can be initiated only with the consent of 66% of unrelated financial creditors and consent of special majority of shareholders. pre path is available only to those series eligible to submit a resolution plan under Section 29A. Also, civil and criminal liability is attached to any act of willful misinformation or omission of information. In a professional is tasked with clear duty to report mismanagement of fraudulent practices. 
So I also want to clarify that out of, I mean, there was a concern expressed about haircuts. Out of the 1,349 liquidation cases, more than 74% of the cases ending into liquidation are erstwhile BIFR cases uh, or defunct companies related cases. Going by the experience, the value realized in resolution cases is around 190% and uh, of the liquidation value. Therefore, this is higher than the higher rate of recovery through recovery loss and in comparison with RBDA or surface. So with all this said, sir, I want, uh, in fact, I will share with those members who spoke that on 25 different categories or issues, we have compared the CIRP process with the pre-pack process and we find that the pre-pack is flexible, cost-effective, time bound and therefore very suitable for the MSMEs. So on these counts I seek the members and their support in passing this bill. Thank you very much. Thank you Minister. I shall